Welcome to Tony Storytime. Hey, how are you? How are you? How are you? There are 19 illustrations in this book, in this coloring book, and uh, uh, pick one and tell us, tell us the story. Okay, I'm gonna pick one. I'm just going random. You know, oh I'm yeah, that that's, that's the, the sexy one. That's the sexy one. Okay, here's one, right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, can you guys figure out what that is? If you're not Babylon 5 fans, then I bet you can't. The story behind it, which is written on this side, just has to do with um, how I got serious about doing, um, about directing. Started out shooting some kind of low budget, you know, three day, half hour shows. Bowling for dollars. <laughs> yeah, bowling for dollars. Half, um, a half hour of um, Lassie, half hour of Swamp Thing. And then eventually I worked my way up to doing episodic, which episodic means that you do, that you get to spend, get this out of here. Episodic means that you um, actually have an hour show to shoot, usually in six or seven days, and then you also have five days to prep it. And that's cool because you get to talk to the DP, you get to talk to the um, production designer. So if you have a particular shot you wanna do, you know, like through a wall or something like that, uh, when they construct the sets, he'll take care of that. And then you have another few days, three days to edit it. So episodic is the way to go. I mean, it's like making a movie, a small movie. Were you guys together at that time? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what were you doing <clears throat> while Tony was directing uh, Swamp Thing and... and uh... Hanging out at the <laughs> table with all the food. You were visiting the, the uh, craft service. Yeah, I was hanging out with craft service. <laughs> I, I was taking people on tours of Universal. <laughs> Seriously. So you were at Universal. What were you shooting at Universal? Was it Babylon 5? No, it was probably uh, the new Leave it to Beaver. Mm-hmm. So anyway, she, she'd get her friends in the car and he'd wave her in. And she'd go in and she'd do the whole thing. I'd she'd follow, follow the, the tram the around. The people the, were paying. You, could hear, the, <laughs> you could hear the tram, tram dude. And... Yeah, but my favorite was the um, Jaws. Yeah. So when the thing would go down, the whale or whatever. It was a shark. Was it a shark? Well, no. Just by the, when the thing's here, when the, you've probably all been on this. Anyway, the jaw went, you know, scares the heck out of you, right? Yeah. Or the hell out of you. So you could, I learned you, where the button was, so <laughs> I did. Oh, God. I could have gotten some big trouble. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You yeah. couldn't do that nowadays. I can't even, oh, I no. can't even get on the lot. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe going to Florida we, on our last season, our fifth season, because we did a hundred and some shows. Um, on the last season, we went to Florida, Orlando, the new, new uh, universal thing down there. And um, we shot down there. So we were the very first television show to shoot there. Um, and Parenthood. Parenthood was the first movie. That was and, cool. And it was in a stage across the, the way. <laughs> it was fun to get to shoot there. You know, the, the problem is when I shot there later for Swamp Thing and a couple of other things, I don't know what. Anyway, <laughs> what would happen is in the middle of a real important shot, the, they'd blow up the boat in the middle of the lake, you know, and then it would go boom, boom. So you'd have to cut, you'd have to start over. So then I, I said, well, let's, let's call the tram guy. Let's call the guy and say, can you wait like, you know, two minutes to, no, mm-hmm. can't wait two minutes. Mm-hmm. The most important thing at Universal is the, uh, is a tour. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah, true. It is true. And I was there when they started the tour, which was, you know, I had to be, 60 or something this executive started bringing people around and they were walking hmm. and uh they'd come on the set and we we knew him so we you know say hi how you doing and then <clears throat> then he got a better idea he'd take people around in a golf cart kind of thing and then he'd walk on the set and then and then he got a better idea he got a big golf cart kind of thing but then he couldn't go on the set because he had too many people and then he got those big trailer tram things that they drive all over the damn place and it's the same thing you can't you if you're shooting something you know you're out of luck if you if you if the tram's going to go through the shot well i have a bunch of them because he loved it that was a, well first i thought the show was beautifully produced 
I mean, it was amazing. You know, it was the best show I think I worked on. It's just, it's just fun designing the shots and then trying to figure out how to get the people so that they look good in the shot. Uh, if, a, if a fancy shot was designed, then I'd, you know, I'd have the people have to be in a certain place at a certain time. If it was like an average shot, which is like a master and a close-up or a two-shot or whatever, then I'd let the actors block it if they, you know. And on Babylon 5, they did. They all, they all had an idea of what they wanted to do. We had a great DP named John Flynn, who's, <laughs> he got Emmy Awards or Emmy nominations on this show that was on, on I don't know, Channel 11, whatever it was on. It was on a, you know. Yeah. And uh, so it, it was it was fun because the product ended up really cool. And uh, it was fun to shoot. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll be back. Adios. Adios.